Howdy, audio lovers. As you know, we've been on the quest for an application for the Mac that can move audio internally to different outputs if it needs to, and also process using VSTs or audio units, plugins of sorts. So I have came across this, I stumbled across this and didn't even realize it was available, and I thought I'm going to download this and give it a run through and uh, in this case I'll give it a run through in front of you so from what I understand so far how I've set this up I'll go from it's kind of top to bottom but not really so the input I've set this as my USB audio mixer so anything that comes in through there is going to get processed uh, the way that I set it up so I can select, select the applications. So in this case, uh, if there's an open application running, you just go to add app and it will show it in this list down here. If not, select the application from your applications folder and it'll just add it there straight away. So you can control individually each of those volumes of what's coming out of that app. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a magic boost. Wow, that's great. So if your audio source is a little low, that's fine. Um, give it a little bit of a touch there if you want. Now, if I want to send Radio Logic DJ, for example, to a different output, not my USB codec, which is the default, as we've set it above, so no redirect, uh, I can do that. So I can send it there. I can send it to a digital output to get processed differently. So inside of there, I can also process. Okay, so each application has its own processing if you want it to. So in this case, I'm going to turn off the overdrive. I don't need 10 band EQ. And if I wanted to, I can go down here. I can go to uh, Black Rooster Audio, pull up some of my plugins there, or even Fuse Audio Labs and whatnot. And there they all are there. Perfect. So in this case, I don't want to actually do that. I'm just going to leave that going. No redirect. And it goes straight to my output. And of course, I've got the overall volume there that I can adjust, which is actually run from uh, the, there you go there, perfect, just from the um, keyboard. So if I come into here, I've got the balance, which I'll never touch, uh, the sample rate, which is the same as my mixer, 44.1. Uh, again, I'm not going to use the EQ, but I'll show you. This is, you'll know this from other videos. This is the uh, setup that I run uh, into OBS. So there you go. There's my little peak catcher, my compressor there. Uh, my very new compressor from Fuse Audio Labs, a VCL 25A, that's all set up, ready to go, along with a little smile EQ, a little bottom end touch, and a little high end sizzle, I guess. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, limiter on the outside just to catch those peaks. So the easiest way to get those into there, again, just add an effect. Go on down here. Let's we'll go to Black Rooster Audio this time. We'll throw this one in here. And there you go. Easy. Adjust as you like. Piece of cake. Or if you don't want it, turn it off, sits there. So, or delete it. So the easiest thing to do is just top to bottom. So from top to bottom, you go, you want to process with that one first, that one first, this one, that one, and so on. And then it's really simple. There's no dragging and dropping, carrying on. It's just, it's there. And it does its thing for you. So all my audio now is going to be processed by sound source, but through those plugins and then straight to my output. So I can actually hear what I'm broadcasting, because normally I broadcast uh, having pre-tested the settings, uh, but in this case I can actually hear what's going on. The only thing that I haven't got in there at the moment uh, is a microphone, so if I had a USB microphone I'm sure I'd be able to pull that in there as well and have that all going, as long as there's no kind of weird delay it should be should be just fine. So check it out, there's a link in the description below for Sound Source, along with the other videos that uh, we have already tested on some other applications. So one of these applications is going to be good for you guys. Give it a go and let me know in the comments section how it worked or if that was the one. It's like, yes, that's what I've been looking for because there are things out there and sometimes you just got to hunt around. So keep in touch with the channel, guys. There is a little bell button and the follow button. You know how it all works. If it's uh, something that you like listening into, some audio geekery, then stick around the channel and I'm sure there'll be more of that. If you haven't uncovered it already, there's a, there's a, a fair little bit of backlog there for you to enjoy. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on another video soon. Cheers.